doing? Uh, Matt Gilfillan, uh, Johnson Drive in the Township. For full disclosure, I am the Vice President of the Board of Education in town. And I've run the Finance Committee for I don't know how many years now, nine or ten, so I'm pretty familiar with how finances work. Um, first of all, I got no issue with this development at all. I actually kind of like it. The only thing I'm worried about is my wait time at uh, at the Town Tavern, or it's called that River Grill. I'm my whole life. I hope it's going to be three deep now instead of two deep, which I'm kind of worried about. But there's a couple things I want to uh, point out. Number one, the Rucker study, we've been through it. We don't believe it's actually a very credible study. We think it's actually extremely low in terms of what the contribution can be. Um, on a student basis, two, with the look of this is also a huge trend, I believe, going on. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it later in terms of this is what millennials are looking for. So I'm wondering whether or not actually home ownership is not something that millennials like. And will we see a larger trend of millennials going into a facility like this and looking for that rental property whereby we could see an even an increased number of, of uh, student contribution. The, the big thing that I want to make sure you guys understand and make sure the town understands and make sure that the planning board understands and the council understands is that the radicals in this, I'm going to use round numbers. If it goes from a million dollars to five million dollars, okay, the school system doesn't get one new additional dollar, zero. Okay, so you may sit there and say 30 students. It doesn't sound like a lot. It's not going to have an impact. It has an impact on our schools. It has an impact on our budget, okay? It is the way that the formula is written. It's the way the law is written in terms of how radicals. It's not a pro rata number. It is an actual physical dollar number. So please understand that every single new student that we bring in has an impact on our school system because it's just basically less money that goes on an individual basis to the kids in town. So please don't poo poo 30 kids and the impact on the town. I, uh, thank you for the gentleman before this. We would like a, a better look in terms of what the contributions could be. I would love to know what the change in lifestyles and, and how millennials are expected to live. But I really want to emphasize is that 10 students, 20 students, 30 students will have an impact on the schools from a financial perspective. Again, I think it looks great. Um, the architecture, I think it looks fantastic. But understand, guys, I want to, everyone to make sure, particularly the planning work, I don't think you guys have heard this before, it will have an impact on the schools.